15. How do you expect shares to, to trade uh, going forward? Do you think they'll hang around this level? Well, given that announcement this morning, those, the three big trades from this morning, I think there's going to be a lot of investors looking to take some opportunity there. Uh, it is very, a very interesting development, as Peter mentioned. Gina Reinhardt is set to become the biggest shareholder in uh, Fairfax Media, and she's seeking to increase her holding to about 15% or 10%, depending on the media reports. And if successful, the purchase will almost guarantee her a board position. Uh, it's reported that Morgan Stanley has been acting on Reinhardt's behalf. They've been approaching fund managers with an offer of about 81 cents a share for the 243 million shares she has her eye on, about $195 million worth. Uh, Reinhardt already owns 4.9% of Fairfax, so this will essentially give her another 9%. Um, what's been interesting is Reinhardt has already, uh, is already a 10% uh, stake owner in 10 networks where she also sits as a director. And uh, some of the, the stories that have come out of this has been quite interesting. There's speculation that uh, it's an attempt to increase increase uh, her, her uh, basically a national influence. Um, there was a, a less than flattering profile of her in the age recently. I think it was the age. And uh, it, it could also just be also p a political move too. Now the news does come just days after reports that Reinhardt has enlisted John Collier to advise her on expanding her mining operations. John Collier is the former Rio Tinto's global exploration chief. She's also recently sold a $10 billion stake in the Pilbara-based project to a South Korean steel giant. And that put, puts her on course to take the title of the world's richest woman. So a very interesting story. And we'll be watching that stock very closely today. A look at the, uh, uh, some of the other news about today, and in particular the overall market. Uh, Christine, we did see a very good January for the Aussie share market, up over 5%. Uh, what do you think is going to be the, the key for markets today? Is it all about the China manufacturing data? Yeah, it has been a very good month in January, but a slow start is expected for today. We do have a bit of a mixed lead. Our US stocks ended lower with disappointing economic data. We did see US consumer confidence fall unexpectedly, down to 61.1 compared to a reading of 64.8 last month. There was also a fall in house prices as well, but US stocks did end off their lows with financials recovering, and that follows some positive developments out of Europe. So Europe, on the other hand, that was higher with improved sentiment over the debt crisis. It looks like we are close to a deal between Greece and its private creditors. And EU leaders have also signed a fiscal discipline treaty. So we'll see the region's bailout fund as well in operation from July 1. So we have good and bad news and it's a bit of a mixed lead, I'm afraid, for the local market. The Aussie dollar has pulled back a bit, which does suggest that riskier assets are under pressure. But if we look at the technicals, we've seen the ASX 200 trading out an important resistance zone between 4354 and 4354. 358. There's also the peaks registered in September and October. That's an important one to watch out for. But as you mentioned, a point of interest for the market today is that China PMI data. Uh, we do take our leads from the US and Europe, but China is very much in a driver's seat in this afternoon. So that manufacturing PMI data is going to be key for our local market today.